as you can see, we're standing in a lovely beech woodland. The trees are about 50 years old, but there is something happening to them that really worries me as their owner. And we can see this if we look at the bottom of this tree just here, where the bark has been stripped off, it's been peeled off, and there are just two animals that might have caused it. You've got the rabbit and the grey squirrel. Rabbits tend to do this damage in the winter, when there may be snow on the ground or there's not much else for them to feed. Grey squirrels, they do this damage in the summertime, in the months of May, June and July. Now this sort of damage on the root spur, in one sense it won't do much harm to the tree itself, but often the squirrels will do damage by stripping the bark on the main trunk, usually of rather smaller trees than perhaps this one that I'm holding, and if they strip the bark all the way around, everything above the damage, the tree dies. Also, of course, even with this kind of damage on the root spur or on the base of the trunk, introduces the possibility of decay and other defects that gets into the timber. But you know, these wretched animals, they're not just happy to, to do this sort of thing. Sometimes, up in the tree themselves, hidden from our sight, they are stripping away all along a branch. And I want to show you an example. A couple of years ago, I casually kicked this branch. It was lying on the ground. Um, I've now cut it to length so that it's easy to carry in the car. But it had broken off where there had been some decay. And when I turned it over, instead of being an ordinary branch with bark on, on the other side, you could see it's all been carefully stripped and peeled off. And that is classic grey squirrel damage. But up in the crown, it would have been like this, and so looking from underneath, there will be no sign at all that the crown of this beech tree was so severely damaged. So really, the grey squirrel is a serious pest of beech trees, of oak trees, sycamores uh, especially. And the problem that we have as the manager is how to keep that under control. Just one other thing to say, when does the damage occur? Unlike the rabbit that tends to do stripping in the winter time, you find that uh, stripping by grey squirrels is very much done in May, June and July. And so that is the time where we really need to be looking out for it.